All right, today we're gonna to show you how to save some money on replacing a BMW K-Series fuel pump. And this will be a universal kit, so you can go to any auto parts store and pick up a new fuel pump if you need one. And we'll show you. Lift up the fuel lid, remove the screws, and then down inside the tank, there's one connection right there, and that goes up to the fuel filter and up through here to the fuel pump, which goes into that well right there. You'll have to remove the electrical connections. And our fuel pump went bad, and additionally, from sitting, the vibration damper for the pump is rotted. So, clean your fuel tank thoroughly, and uh, remo remove these screws. And we're gonna keep this plastic housing but remove this old rotted uh, vibration dampener. So here's the factory fuel pump, the factory Molly fuel filter, and the fuel line. So those are all gonna be replaced. And what we need is a universal fuel pump. This is from a 1985 Fiero. Fuel strainer, fuel filter, and I'll put a list of the parts. And then you'll need a sleeve for the fuel pump that is submersible. That means it can go in the fuel without rotting. Additionally, the fuel tank lines have to be submersible as well. You can't use regular fuel line or they'll swell and rot and burst. So let me get everything set up and I'll show you how to get it all going. So we'll start by removing this vibration dampener. So you just take all these screws off and then pry this old rubber vibration dampener off and then clean it thoroughly and mine these clips because that's going to hold our new fuel pump and assembly together. Just give you a little bit of an overview. We'll use this submersible sleeve place our fuel pump in it and then once this rubber membrane's gone we'll clip this plastic clip back into the fuel pump well and then place this in here with the strainer attached to the bottom and let me clean it up and show you what it looks like when it's all done okay so this is what our new fuel pump assembly is going to look like we've got our fuel screen mounted to the bottom of the fuel pump fuel pump with its submersible sleeve and then we've got our submersible fuel line and a 5 16 barb T because these submersible lines only come in one foot sections so we're just a hair short then we come over to our fuel filter and here's a little bit of a tip Put a little bit of white grease at the end and then on the connector right there that's where the fuel filter connects to going outbound to the fuel injectors put a little bit of white grease on that fitting as well so next time if you have to take this thing out you don't have to fight the fuel line so hard and then here's our wiring we uh, shrink wrapped and made our new connections. Make sure you don't use any uh, open flame near this source. And then here's the new connection for the fuel pump which was supplied in the kit. You just pop the pins in and then place that retaining clip and that's it. So to assemble, take our new, I mean our old uh, fuel pump holder with retaining with a dampener. We're going to clean this up a little bit then mount it back in the tank. See the square indentations? That's where these clips go. So we'll pop this back in place and then we'll slide our fuel screen in there and our fuel pump. 
this new sleeve on the fuel pump fits pretty good. It's just a little slack, but in comparison to spending $400, and now we have the universal pump we can get in any auto shop, I think it's well worth it. So let me get her buttoned up and we'll take it out on the road. So our fuel tank has been reinstalled with the new fuel pump retrofit kit. So if that pump ever goes bad, you've only got to buy a pump that's less than $50 at any auto parts store. And the whole retrofit costs about a hundred bucks. So, test her out. Neutral. Sounds great.